Hey everybody, this is Maria with California Thrifter. And today I have a haul and some of these items will be on my live sales coming up. Uh, tomorrow I have a live sale with Jane Newhouse, Lock on Happy Vintage. So um, the first item that I have coming up and I'm gonna need help you guys. I came across these, the paper in the back is very fragile. But I have these two, and they're giving me the 60s vibes. When I did some research on it, it says that with the big eyed paintings, they are marked, signed by Cabot. But the one that I found on, on uh, eBay, this, like, it's, it's a little bit different, but, so that's the boy. The wood is in excellent condition. And then I have the girl. Now they look like they're, they're oops, they look like they're oil painting, but, and this one is signed as well by Cabot. I don't have the measurements on it right now, but it's beautiful, beautiful wall hanging. And they look like they're oil, they're kind of, the texture is a little bit rough. And if you guys can tell me a little bit more about it, because I could not find a lot of information on it. All I know is like the back of this, the paper is like really, really frail, but it's giving me those 60s vibes. I also have, I showed you guys this the other day, but um, it's a vintage um, jewelry box. And this is fashioned by Farrington, made in USA, genuine textile. Whoops. My only issue is, is somebody loved this. The inside is in excellent condition. I just need to, I just need to clean it with, with some, it has a lot of stuff in the velvet, but it's, it's in excellent condition. My issue is on, on the outside right here, see it's got a little bit of, you know, all over the place, but, and I don't even know what to clean it with. But it's really, really pretty. Then I have a California Pottery um, 708 USA, just a plate, uh, a, a plate with a leaf on it, really pretty. Very adorable. And then I have a mushroom. I've got some of these, so I might grab the other ones and pair them up and sell them in a the lot. And then I have a single salt and pepper shaker with a bluebird. And I will have some more salt and pepper shakers tomorrow. But you guys have seen those already from previous videos. And then I have this vintage doll head and hands. Still in the, new in the package. So that's the face and there's the hands. So if somebody's building, making a new, uh, making a doll. I also have this milk glass uh, butt face. There's the bottom. I don't see any sign on it, but there's any signature or anything on it, but this there's, there's no chips or crack. And this is the um I think this is the older vintage glass, milk glass. I have to do more research on it. And then I picked up some books, and those I might have them in a book sale coming up. Dogzilla. And then I have these two Japan salt and pepper shakers, and they have this wooden handle, really pretty. And this one does not have a stopper. This one does, but I don't even dare take it out because 
It looks very fragile to me. But they're in excellent condition. Where's the other one? And tomorrow um, with Jane, I'm gonna also have some, somebody requested some pens. I hope they're the right ones. Uh, and I will have all that tomorrow, but I have it in a separate um, container. And you guys already had seen those. I also have these, and you guys have seen these before. These are also salt and pepper shakers. Sorry. And the rest are just going to be more books. So you have How Do Fish Live? And then the Unicorn, unicorn Wings. And then I have bats. And then I have the Pioneer Girl. Uh, really, I love the graphics. And I believe this is from... Um, Two thousand fourteen. Then I have another one, Willie's Wonderful Pet. A lot of scholastic books. I love scholastic. Then you have this one, The White Giraffe by Lauren St. John. We have Simon's Big Challenge. Really, really cute. Then I have The Best Older Sister. And then you have The Deadly Power of Medusa. And then Murray's First book of words by Sesame Street. So, so cute. And then Friends, the birthday surprise, Lego. Hello Kitty, Hello Seasons. Very, very adorable. Marwal, Unicorn of the Sea. And this is from the Weekly Reader Children's Book Club. And this is what really caught my eye. It's Blitz. And this is from 1961. It's really pretty. I still haven't even read it or anything like that or researched it. I also picked up this little spoon because I'm always looking for spoons for, you know, some creamers that are sometimes the little creamers. But I just noticed this one has a, like a little, it's like a little souvenir. Whoops. Okay. And then I also have um, this um, John Deere 
Moline, Illinois. And it's a puzzle. It has a... Well, I believe it has a hundred pieces. A thousand pieces. But it's still in the bag. The bag's never been opened. And these are my favorites to find. They're all still in here. Everything's still in here. So, I used to have a... My insurance man, he was... Um, his whole office was done in the John Deere. But it's in a metal can for you that collects John Deere model AW. And it says 1,000 pieces. But look how pretty that is. The sides, all the graphics and stuff. I just love it. This is the underneath. And this is the front. And this is it, guys. So make sure you... Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and leave me a comment if there's an item that you really like. Um, I do have more stuff, more mushrooms, more stuff, but it's outside and it's really super hot. So, But this was my haul. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Don't forget to leave me a comment and everything. A thumbs up. Ring the bell so that you're notified when I do have new content. And I'm trying my very best to give you guys more content. Thank you and have a great day.